What's up guys, this is DMF Snipes bringing you a Minecraft TNT gun show. But first I want to start off by saying if you haven't seen my hidden doors or secret doors video, uh, go look at that. I'll put a link up in the top left hand corner of your screen. Uh, go look at that, it's really good for when your friends are in your game and you don't want them finding your diamonds. So let's move on over to the cannons. I have eight uh, cannons made for you today. I'm going to just speed through this, fast forward a little bit. Uh, I have eight cannons made for you today. Uh, I'm not going to be showing you exactly how to make these because I don't want the video being 30 minutes long. Uh, I will be making tutorials uh, and separate videos on how to make each separate cannon uh, because these can get very complicated and they take a lot of testing to do. So I already made a tutorial for this cannon right here. Basically, uh, it's really simple. It's six blocks long, maybe seven. Uh, you have two levers that control uh, the, the bullet and I guess the barrel which shoots it. Uh, let me turn these off. I'll show you how to load it. Basically, you just you, you use some redstone, a bucket of water, and what a block of your choice. Let me shoot this again. <coughs> hit the top switch. Hit the bottom. The bottom of the second player. Then there you go. Uh, as you can see, it shoots pretty far. It's not the most powerful cannon that I have made, uh, but it's still really good. So this one right here is the fastest one. It's more of a portable, uh, more of a portable TNT cannon. You, there's actually two ways you can shoot this. Uh, this is the first way you can. Uh, shoot it. This is really easy to make. I just built it into the ground and put a couple blocks around it. It's around five blocks long. Uh, you need a bucket of water and. Uh, uh, I can't think of it. Oh, a slab. Uh, let me see. This is the second way you can shoot it. This way is a little bit more different. Uh, this is going to take out a lot of stuff around you because it's going to shoot the TNT straight up in the air. <laughs> Back up a little bit so I don't get killed. As you can see, it shoots in almost every direction. So it's actually a really uh, quick can. I think it took me almost 30 seconds to make. All you need is a couple things of redstone some TNT and two levers and basically you're already set to go so this one right here is basically the first one I showed you only difference with this one is that this one is going this one's going to shoot two TNT instead of one uh, you so you just add a couple extra blocks to the cannon and a couple more redstone and then your cannons all set this top one's going to hit my cannon sign up there so it's not going to go as far but as you can see if it's going to hit that it's going to go pretty far uh, so made a pretty big ass crater in front of the water there. I'm not going to show you guys how to load this one just because it's the same as loading the last one. So this cannon right here is my favorite cannon. This thing is 11 blocks long and this thing shoots can or shoots TNT like crazy. It goes almost, it, it goes so far I don't even know how far it goes. Let me show you, let me show you what I mean. So you hit the top switch and the bottom and look at that, you see it disappear, it goes so far. Uh, basically this is the same cannon as the first one as well, uh, just a lot bigger and a lot more powerful. Uh, this one actually uses two buckets of water, one at the front uh, and then one at the back. Let me shoot it again. And I just love to shoot this thing, it's just so much fun. So these right here, these are really small cannons that can shoot in all different uh, lengths. This one shoots two TNT. Uh, it doesn't shoot extremely far. Holding up the TNT right now is a ladder. Uh, and then to set the TNT off, I'm using buttons instead of levers this time. But you can use levers as well. As you can see, if I hit the switch, those TNT drop, and then it shoots two TNT. So as you can see, it goes pretty far. It's not the farthest one, but it goes. It still goes pretty far. Let me load it up again. And then this time you'll see the TNT separate in the air. So, so you can see both TNT there. So it's going to do a lot of damage either way. This one right here uh, also shoots two TNT. But this one's a lot more powerful. Again, holding it up is a ladder. Uh, then we have two switches. The switch is going to control the TNT that's going to shoot these. As you can see, that one goes extremely far. Hits that wall over there. Uh, it's really easy to make actually. Uh, it's basically the same as the last one, just a couple more blocks added to it. And as you can see, the water is uh, actually uh, at the ladder. It's not behind it. It's three blocks long, then 
on black diagonal. Let me load this thing back up. As you can see again, it shoots really far. Hit the bottom, front switch, and just look at that go. I mean, bull TNT sticking together, and this it just destroys walls. It can destroy anything you want. So this is the uh, other cannon. Basically, it's the same as uh, the last two I showed you, but this one only shoots one TNT. Let me get back up here. This one shoots one TNT. It doesn't really go that far. Uh, it's it's pretty like I'm not sure how to describe it. I mean, because it doesn't shoot really far, but it doesn't shoot uh, really low. So as you can see, it has a pretty good arc to it. It goes pretty far. Uh, it's really quick to make, maybe around a minute to make. Uh, you just need two levers. The one thing I really like about these last two that I've been showing you is that uh, they don't use any redstone at all. You just use a couple of switches and levers, and then your cannon's all set. <clears throat> so let's go back over to the first one. Or not the first one, but the last one, I should say. So this one right here is the one I made today. There are a couple things I still have to fix on it because every now and then it does explode, so it's not the most reliable one. But when this thing works, man, it shoots far. So if I hit the switch, uh, around five things of TNT drop. Then when I hit this one, uh, it just launches it. I mean, I think it goes farther than the one with 11 TNT. Uh, I mean, th this thing just really shoots really far. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to just load this thing back up real quick. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think and which cannon you guys like the best. I will be making tutorials on how to make these, so please rate and subscribe, guys.